Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a royal knight. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Um, so yeah, uh, to finish this off, I'm going to cruise around and see if uh, Chief Leoman has anything to do uh, for us. Or for us to do, rather. And we'll go from there. Because usually there's a quest back here that might not be checked out. Because like I said, some quests that are needed to be done do not show up on map because of the moving scouts. But we'll see. Nope, looks like Chief Leomon has no quests. Saber Leomon has no uh, quests. So, I guess it's up left to the scouts, star, uh, the scouts, the starmon of passion, and super starmon. So let's swing around up here and see what we can do next. Uh, yeah, these quests don't go in order if that would ever come to question, but I do do them in a timely fashion, so no one gets frustrated about it but yeah uh, the key thing that we need to worry about after all these are done is to have a newbie mon standing over here on the right side of superstar mon to hand us the keys after beating the boss summoning uh, Cerberu mon uh, yeah so we get the key from that and the quest over there to get the keys to begin with. Um, but yeah, we're just going to come over here, do personal curiosity. I wonder what this has anything to do with. Oh, suspicious devices. Ha 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 ha. This is going to be another two parter, I'm guessing. Alright, well, let's get started. Boom! No. How about you? Boom! Oh, now these are one-shot deals. Good. We're climbing up. The political incorrect angle. Kaboom! So how are we doing today? Are we doing great? I would like to hear some good news. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't had any good news lately. I've been pretty much stuck in the heat of my bedroom, and it's pretty hot in here. I wish I had an AC. But then again, that would mean more background noise rather than my fan running. But other than that, I need some, like, cooling in here. Uh... I'm not so sure what the weather is like. I don't have a battery for my Android right now, so I can't exactly tell. So, yeah. One of keys for long devices. I am sweating. I could use an ice pack, too. I never thought of that, but I'll worry about that later. Um, but yeah, it's really hot over here. Uh, before anybody asks, no, I'm not in Florida or in... Ooh, I just got one. I'm not in Florida or in uh, California. I'm just hot. Really, really hot. And it's nighttime too, so I don't know what's going on. So I can't wait for a fog to come up because that's when the nights get cooler. Or, yeah, it gets to be the coolest. Close to coolest. We don't need a AC around the fog barrier. like the other night. Man, that was such a good night. Uh, I could pretty much sit out in the middle of my porch and be like, hey, this is awesome. Can't see the stars, but, you know, kind of miss my trees, though. Yeah, about those trees. Um, some stupid reason it's like all of a sudden this became a massive problem 
I had two trees sitting outside of my front porch. Uh, all of a sudden, truckers with big rigs at the end of them started tearing off the lines around my house. And uh, finally, one of them snapped the, or half of my tree on my side of the yard and ended up, you know, split in half. While the trucker came around, parked in a uh, parking lot across the street from here, and took half the tree that they torn off, left it over in the parking lot. Well, some guys came over and started taking the trees down that same very day, and Comcast had to come down about three times that same week to fix the lines. And when they came to fixing them, uh, the trees were completely uh, cut down, shredded, and taken out of here. So now we have uh, wood dust, I guess, in our yard now. I'm not so sure how to clean that up, but the only thing I could think of is raking it, something other. It's the only thing I can think of at the moment. But, yeah, I could try to do that later. Um, however, with the trees cut down and all, uh, it's going to get really hot in my room. The sun's going to beat down on the roof of my house. And mainly since the uh, roof is so close to the ceiling of my room, I'm going to roast uh, bullets over here because or sweat bullets, one of the two, because um, it's that hot. And it carries on too because I don't have any window fans or any of that stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to actually have high maintenance around my room. So I'm going to I have to get something to put in my windows to cool off in here. I was thinking one of my uncle's ACs should do it just nicely. But of course that means I'd have to switch uh, ACs downstairs and put the one that's already in the window up here in the other rooms and having the small one in my room which should be quiet at some certain point but it'll be nice enough to keep the second floor as cool as it possibly can <sighs> because it does get really droughty in here. yes droughty and still two what the heck what is this going to be five and five for two parts might be see any other way this could happen. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Why is this so difficult? I was talking to my friend Toph about this yesterday. Um, I think Magnamon needs a rebalance because he's taking up so much DS of his own to keep his moves in gear. I pretty much had to buy DS Max Overlock or Overclock, sorry, plus 30 to keep him in the game because without him, uh, I'd be stuck with only three. Mega Blasts and a Mega Burst, or a Magna Burst, or yeah, three Magna Blasts and a Magna Burst. Uh, I guess he's a four part move only, but I'm going to try to change that. So he definitely needs a rebalance. We don't need like skills to eat up more resources than what they should because then we won't be able to get anywhere. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see, let's see. Can I get one from you, please? Please? I said please. No? You're a jerk. You jerk. Oh, and speaking of crap, the game has weird censorship. So, uh, certain words with SM touching or GM touching, they're just gonna bleep it out. And, uh, they'll leave, like, some of the words in there, but most likely you're gonna have to X block some, uh, between letters or between spaces. X block is whenever you um, take a space that the letters are touching, you're pretty much doing the math of what letters touch and what won't censor the word entirely. Like night, for example, you're not allowed to have uh, IGH touching. So you're going to have to put a X block between I and an X block between GH. Or between IG and GH. So how do you do this? Take your cursor in the middle of the space, uh, hold control and backspace, it'll put an X block in between letters. And when that happens, it breaks the censorship so that it comes up as a complete uh, sentence without having to worry about a uh, censor. Uh, interruption. Uh, you might have to do that in more words than one, depending on what you have to say. But especially for talking to uh, game masters or GMs, you would have to put that in there. And according to, I think Move Games set this up. You can't say Joy Max whatsoever because I believe that they're in a or they're a competition company. And Move Games took over their website so that they can take over the servers and help fix the situation that uh, Joymax has came up with. Like how Lusamon, for instance, is so corrupted it's barely unfixable. And it's kind of hard for me to say this, but I'd have to say goodbye to all my old Digimon in the game or in that server because I just can't get back in, into it. I don't know what happened or what Joymax did, but it, 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 it's unrepairable. And I told Toph about this last night and he said he hopes that he can get in because there are some things in there that he wants to keep. And I've been considering, well maybe uh, Move Games should have a transfer system to what we can transfer between accounts and have it taken out of an old server into a new one. That way we don't have to worry about um, messing uh, up a bit like how it is now. I mean there's no transfer systems. We can't move things in and out of a server for some odd reason. We don't have an email space so that's a no-go. And uh, I know how hard it is to program things. I can't write one line of code whatsoever. So, that being said, I, I can't express how hard it could be to even try and get these uh, games programmed like that. I can imagine how it can be done. But I can't see myself doing something like that because, like I said, it's hard—it's hard for me to write a code because I've never written a code before. I would have to look in or look up instructions on how to write code, and that stuff can be found by Google or Bing or whatever search engine you use to find something like uh, simple hacks, like a note hack or a notepad hack, rather. Uh, see the matrix running off your notepad for some odd weird reason. And yeah, that can be done. God only knows why. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's like that. 
except it's um, kind of hard to do that for a game. I mean, I would like to have a class that would teach you how to program a game so that I could use Blender, possibly, to do it myself. And not having to download another source mod for other people's games and taking it out that way. And I would find it much more easier if I could um, take a fan-based game such as DMO. I'm not saying DMO is fan-based, I'm saying like if I created something myself fan-based for like DMO and uh, having it where I could possibly somehow come out with a uh, program that would meet smartphone with uh, PC gaming like a company of Tryon did for Rift. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I would look into it because that was amazing. And I know some of you would be like, why would this happen? What, what would be the point of it all? Well, here's the thing. If the idea was so simple, I'm not, so, I'm not saying it is simple, I said if it would be simple. <coughs> uh, the app would have contained your account information along with the PC's uh, online game information because it would all be sorted out into one account. It would be connected to your account. And that means. But having to take your smartphone and being able to see your uh, stats of the Digimon you've raised, uh, play with the Digimon you're raising, and uh, communicating with friends online. I don't see how that's a problem. I would like to see something like that happen at some point. But I don't think they're going to do it for DMO. That idea could go to a new Digimon game or Digimon MMO. But regardless of the case, I would like to see uh, GDMO be upgraded so great that it could do something like that. I mean, we have tamers all over the world uh, going for uh, better or best drops and going for greater things. Like, for instance, Datamon, he can be found in uh, the desert of uh, Server Continent. His dungeon is treated like uh, Chimera Mons. There's a normal and there's a hero. And the point of going there with uh, a good cloned Digimon in a certain cloned way, like for instance, there's like a clone lock. And I do say clone lock because it's like level lock or whatnot. There's a clone lock for a certain drop. And some tamers would ask or tell you if you've asked them nicely what that was all about. They would say that you will need attack and evade because blocking would take up too much time. You need attack and evade up to 15 and 15 and hope that you get a blue digivice. It looks something like this, but it's blue. And it has more chips, or more chip space, and tamer skills. And no, you don't get another uh, X amount of Digimon party uh, slots, but yeah, th that happens. So, whenever you think about going to Datamon for that kind of drop, that's the one thing you'll be expecting. And I know there's like enough dungeons in game that have some odd drops and they need to be explored, such as the uh, Lost Historic Site. Uh, that hasn't been explained what kind of drops it would have. But you can go in there for free. There's no exit uh, coming out unless you die or something, but the only exit is you have to beat the final boss in that sort of maze-like place. 
and technically you're supposed to be lost in order to find out where you are and Sitaruman is the main boss of that place I'm not so sure if many people know who Sitaruman is you would have to watch the uh, Adventure 1 series to see who that is because in Lost Storks is where Izzy uh, finds this uh, building with a black gear in the floor and finds a code and almost messes up uh, Tentamon's uh, Digivolution code. And he discovers how Digimon can totally Digivolve. And by figuring that out, uh, Mimi got lost in the maze with Tentamon and Palamon, I guess, stuck behind Izzy while trying to figure that out. And they all almost got stuck in battle with Centaurumon, but uh, the Digivices got the black ears out somehow. And I guess in the storyline they had, um, wait, where am I going? Oh, backwards, duh. The Digivices somehow got the black ears out of Centaurumon, and then out of Leomon as well, but at a certain point this dungeon is essential landmark for Izzy and the first adventures <laughs> now there are many more landmarks in waterfront including uh, server continent because it's all tied into adventure one uh, but you'll see a lot of a lot more landmarks dealing with uh, seasons four five um, not so sure about six, but I know three is in there because of the oil refinery being shown up in the base somehow. But I'm going to hand in this quest. I'm going to take my 15. Whoa! What's this? That item. What item? Did I get something? Well, we'll talk about that later. Um, We'll come back and do that one, I guess. Uh, Anubimon is still not here. I guess we can see it better if I talk, or took the map off. But Anubimon is still not here. We have this quest to do yet, and I guess we're done with Super Starmon. Uh, he is now a daily. And when we come back, we're going to do that item quest, so be right back.